everyone, welcome to another episode of Tea Talk with Goodness Usman, your number one real estate talk show in Africa. Welcome everyone to another episode of Tea Talk with Goodness Usman, your number one real estate talk show in Africa. Thanks to each and every one of you who keeps coming back to watch every time we upload a new episode every Sunday 4 p.m. You guys are truly the real MVP. Okay, before we go into today's topic, which is quite interesting relating to the Lagos State Government. Okay, so we're going to go straight into today's topic, which is quite very interesting. And I want it to be very engaging because the Lagos State Government drop something i call the bombshell on us and hey i'm yet i'm here to discuss it with you all but before we go into it let's quickly observe our usual ritual now for our very new subscribers i want to say welcome it is good to have you here and for those of you who are also watching for the very first time but you are yet to subscribe hey what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe right away so that you can be among the very first of first set of people who get notified when we put up a new video whether on the show or any other day on this youtube channel by the way my name is goodness usman i'm your host and of course a lot of you already know me as the queen of landlord maker so hey shall we go ahead and do our ritual Okay, for all the OGs here, you already know what the tradition is, but for the new ones, so let me tell you what our tradition is. Like the name of the show is Tea Talk with Goodness Usman. So, of course, I always have my cup of green tea, and I always say that you, wherever you are, please ensure that you are comfortable and get yourself maybe a glass of water, glass of wine, glass of orange juice, I mean, freshly squeezed juice, or maybe you want to join me in the green tea club or maybe you want to do the coffee whichever one works for you just ensure that you have something good that you're going to be enjoying while you are listening to me and being part of the show so shall we ladies and gentlemen Ooh. three they say is the charm right <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and read the post made on Lagos State's um, government's social media post by um, Punch as well. Punch reported this. So this is what Punch reported. I'm reading to you guys. The Lagos State government has announced that its monthly rental scheme will be implemented by the end of by the end of this year or early next year 2025. The special advisor to Lagos State government of Alfred Baraka Odunuga Bakari made this known during a recent press briefing of the Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority in Ikeja, the punch report, as I said earlier. The scheme will make tenants pay their rent monthly instead of the current renter model, which requires them to pay a year rent in advance. The policy, according to Odunuga Bakari, will also require property owners to charge according to their tenant earnings. Can you guys note that part? Ten, um, landlords will not be charging their tenants according to their earnings. Note. She said, we all see what is being done in other crimes. Rents are collected monthly. Note that one again. No. And we're looking and hoping that before the end of the year or by early next year, 2025, we will be able to implement the policy of monthly rental also, the renter will be charged according to tenant's earnings. Hmm, two points, you guys are coming. She went for that to say the good part about it is that we will be test running it within the public sector since we can ascertain how much everyone, everybody is earning. And once we see that it works in the public sector, we can then now push it to the uh, private sector. She said, the scheme is slow start, is the scheme, the scheme slow starts is evident that the state is working to perfect it. The state government. The last administration, so she went ahead and talked about how the last administration had the one that initiated the 
the rental, monthly rental scheme and all of that. They could get late, da 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 da, you know. Then in 2021, Governor Baba Jesus Olu, you know, advocated a monthly rental system. Says the current rental model was not working. I mean, it was not aligning with the current realities in the housing sector. Hmm. Guys, and they went on and on and on and on. The key point is what I've talked about. Now, let me let me juggle you guys in memory back to some couple of years ago. I don't think it's under the administration of Governor Babaji Desawoli. I think it was under the administration of um, Governor Ampote. Then, back then in Lagos, if you want to get a rent, if you want to rent a house, you hear some landlords in the same street can tell you pay four years. Some will tell you two years. Some will even tell you five years. Every year, some will go as high as seven years. And that's why some landlords were having issues with some certain kind of people who will pay them rental income in work for five years and dominate the, the house after five years. They will pay for five years and they will use another five years to not pay for it. Well, the bottom line is that that time, it was really tough for certain people, I mean, low income or middle income uh, earners to get to rent an apartment in certain areas. It was as if they were now boxed to the world to just go to a certain part of the uh, part of Lagos. That's the only part they can afford because of this. It's not even affordability now. It's the fact that you're asking people to come and pay you buck um, rent, uh, rent five years. Somebody here in 100,000, you're telling person to put two years, five years together. How do you expect the person to get it? So I remember that the government stepped in when it was becoming too much and it was causing really, really um, serious issues. I mean, we have cases where some landlords, some very dubious landlords, we collect rent of four years and evict you before that four years. They'll come and tell you, oh, um, they're going to let us say, oh, the, the, the house wants to go on construction or renovation, blah, 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 blah. You have to leave. You'll be done in one year's time and then you'll be out there, you know, stranded. So, so many, so many dubious things were done with that. And then the government stepped in and it made a lot of sense. And now, in fact, they made it a law. Yes, it was a law, punishable, that if they catch any landlord taking more than one year rent, rent from tenants, they were going to be seriously punished. And I mean, that really, really, I, I don't know if there was anyone that was reported and arrested, but I knew that that caused fear in the eyes of these landlords. And then you kind of, you know, pipe it down. I know some landlords did take um, two years, but then, he came back to really, really, he came down really, really to one year. So they are here again. And let me tell you guys where this is coming from. So last year, it was the end of last year, 2023, and the early, as in this year, 2024, so far, because it was still early 2024, we just saw how rents skyrocketed. Like some people experienced 300% rent increase. Like, like seriously, they did. Shout out to landlords who didn't increase their rent whatsoever. My landlord is one of them. Shout out to you if you're watching me. Yeah, yeah, I have a very amazing landlord. But I need to be my own landlord very soon. Anyways, back to the topic of rent. <laughs> Honestly, I have a couple of people who say, oh, their landlord didn't increase. But many, majority of people, you know, they had to experience this. And then people came and started, you know, talking about it. It was a serious trend on Twitter. Did not ex, sorry. But even on Instagram, I observed. On the page of the Lagos State of uh, Lagos State, anytime they are talking about their, I shared this their uh, um, red line rail project when they're giving updates. You see the comments of people saying, you should tell landlords to stop, they should do something to landlords increasing rents, increasing rents on, on necessarily. Da, 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 da. So you could see that it was really a pain that people were really, really going through. And I mean, as a realtor, I could see it around. I mean, it was really, really ridiculous because I saw it even in my estate. People were paying four million naira as rent. They started paying eight million naira. It was literally double, double. It was somewhere paying ten million. It was really ridiculous. And this house were were built maybe decades ago, and then you just suddenly increase the rent. Why you're saying that? I mean, we're not going into that now. What do you guys think about this policy? Number one, do you think that this policy is the right step in the right direction? Is it really, really going to help us tenants? Eh? Now, there's a way it's going to affect the uh, landlord too. Let's talk about the tenants, the people, the citizens. How do you think this is going to help the, essentially, according to Lagos State Governor, uh, government, let me not say governor, according to Lagos State, 
they say that you they want to, their target is to help low and medium income earners. Is this going to really help them? Now, that's first. Secondly, she said, quote and unquote, we see what is being done in other clients. Rents are collected monthly. Hey, job is it because they, people in Ghana do? Yes, my people in USA, eh, Texas, good boy. My people in uh, Europe, is it even in London, UK? Is it because they are paying rental income in dollars and pounds? That's why Lagos State government is doing this. Or to effect, they want to help the low and average income level. Because, because it's just now two, two ways. Because, I mean, this statement to me, I'm sorry, it's conflicting. Because if you are comparing people earning in pounds and dollar to me, that's... <laughs> hey, I don't even want to earn monthly anyway. My, my income is not in money stable. Let to sleep. They are not telling me to be paying you monthly. Ah, it's time to be calling landlord. That's the first thing that comes to my head. Ah, this is the right time to be calling landlord. So work on it. So what do you guys think? Put it in the comment section. If you're in Nigeria, in Nigeria, what do you think? How do you see this policy that they are in, in, intending to implement? Now the third part is they. I like the part that they now said that they were going to test run it on their public sector people that are, are working with the government. Because they already ascertain how much they earn. So a government um, staff that works and earn 120,000 naira. How much will the tenant, the landlord now charge the person? Hmm? So they say after test running it on the public sector, they will not bring it to the private. Now that's where me I have a problem. It can perfectly work with the probably work with the public. Private, how do you ascertain how much I as a realtor earn? How? How are you sure how much I rent? I earn monthly. How do you come to it? How do you? I mean, I'm not a an accountant or a financial. I, I, I like I'm not an accountant. I don't know how this works. Okay, if you are here and you know how this works, please share it. I'm here to learn. I want to hear from you guys. You are professionals. A lot of you here are professionals. How do you think this will work? Okay, because I mean, these clients that they are referring to, we have. A functional system there. Almost everybody in U.S. is accounted for. I mean, we have the immigrants and all of that, but in a way, the system has a way of accounting for you. That's why they have social security numbers. I be a job I will a very account for me and a couple of others. Entrepreneurs generally, a trader, a businesswoman. My mom is a trader. How do you? I mean, come to how much my mom hands in a month. I mean, my mom is not paying rent anyway, but let's just say someone in the age of my mom who pays rent, right? How do you evaluate? I mean, I know that when we break it down, we can, we can bring up a figure, okay? Now, this is where I, 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 I personally begin to see how do they intend to make this work. Because one thing is to bring a policy. Another thing is to make it work. Because now, you're saying that they're going to try it on the public, policy, uh, public sector. You cannot complain, compare a public sector to a, to a private sector. It's, those two things never, it's, it's uncomparable, incomparable. All the years, all over the world. It, I mean, it's, the church users cannot compare it. So, you're saying that you're going to enforce landlords to charge people on their income. Now, let's say, I have a block of flats. 12. I, maybe I bought a block of flats now, a whole block in a Diabocado. I've already bought it too. I have one bedroom apartment on the ground floor, four units. I'm going somewhere. On the first floor, I have two units of one bedroom apartment. That's six. On the sec that same floor, I have two bedroom apartments. Now, let's use the ground floor where I have four units of one bedroom apartment. And I already want to get tenants. And this four units of this same one bedroom apartment, I have different people. One is a trader. One works with the government. The other one works with bank. Bank is paying Mr. A, 60,000. Government is paying Mr. B, 40,000. If not 30,000. Actually, I'm a private sector. So I'm public. Sorry if you have a, a government official. I'm not believing the truth. 
That's why people, some of us, when we finish school, we we're not interested in working with the government. Yeah, there's job because I remember that we always say job security, job security, job security. Job, but I will, because security, anything, I've after, after some years. That's why a lot of us run to public um, um, sectors. So, how do I now determine how much? Are you saying in a property that I spent the same amount to acquire or to build that I will not be selling Mr. A? To pay, maybe Mr. A now, because Mr. A is only handing 100,000 naira per month. I'll not tell Mr. A to be paying 60,000 per month. Then Mr. B in, this, in the second flat, flat B, should be paying 150,000 because Mr. B is handing 300,000 in his banking job or in all like gas job, or no, in his banking job. Then Mr. C or Mrs. C or Miss C. Who is now working as a business person? And I'll say, oh, uh, because he's a business person, the business is booming in oil and gas. The person should be paying 400000 per month. So how does this even make sense? Hey, John, Lord, help me. How does it make sense? You guys should help me. Because in my, I'm talking now as a landlady. In my apartment, one bedroom, the avocado that I bought, one bedroom, 52.5 million naira, apart from other things. If you look at how much it cost me to own to acquire that one bedroom, you are not telling me in the same apartment I'm going to be earning differently. A job I will need to pay work, government, a shall I If this is not that because the government has given us their own housing scheme, I quote and unquote oh, the other time, the other lady, I will not mention it, she was saying that it's not the government's right to provide um, affordable housing scheme. Yeah, that's another topic for another day. Please tell me in the comment section. Let's discuss how will this work. Now, I don't know too much about how Canada, US work. I've not had the opportunity to be in this for too long, and I hope that when I do, I will study them. But I know more about London because I have a couple of people who live in London, and I've had the opportunity to go back and forth in London, and I know that the few I know, they are not, their rents are not being. What's the word now? The rent are not being, they're not based on how much they earn or what the kind of job they do. It's for you who is a, who earn certain amount to go to certain areas to live. And if you earn certain amount, go to another area. Not that landlords will now in the same property. So I have my property in Naja. The cost of having my property in Naja is even the cost of having my property in, in Abu Dhabi. So if somebody is earning a certain amount, open up you and say, "Abu Leba, you can afford now." That's what we're doing, bro. Live in your Abu Leba, and if you can afford that, just live there. If you can afford it, Koyi, please. What's your opinion about this? Seriously, I want to know. Two, three things we're discussing. Do you think this policy is the right decision in the right um, is the right step in the right direction? One, do you think the comparison because you guys that are based abroad, you pay your rent monthly. So shall it be here. Nigeria is a peculiar market. Do you think it will work? Because even the yes, even the money we earn monthly, how does it even pay our rent? Let's even face it. How will it how will it work? Please just let me know in the comment section. Is it right that they are comparing what's happening in other clients to what's happening in Nigeria? Because I also have this um belief, and I always say. Stop comparing what is happening in other clients with us. How can a whole government come and say Hastoro is working in other clients? Do you know what else is working in other clients, ladies and gentlemen? System. They have a functional system. Like I mentioned earlier, they have social securities. They account for their citizens. Lagos the government does not even have any people living in Lagos. Do they have the data? Lagos State government does not have data. Government generally in Nigeria, we don't have data. Nigerians, even private sectors, they don't have data. How many data do we have? What we're talking about censorship, what was the last of the censor? Is that data correct? So if we are a government, a country without data, how will this policy work? Because these clients we are saying, and we emphasize in you, it's a client that has Functional system, whoa, etc. is working. Uh, transportation system is good. Now, what? So, I mean, I'm not. I'm not against the fact that I get what they want to do. This it makes sense. I mean, just put a policy in place that does not allow you to just increase uh, increase rent anyhow. Like my current landlord, my previous landlord, 
My two previous landlords, my previous landlord before my current landlord, I don't want to talk about that man again. So I'll talk about the one before my previous landlord. Amazing human being. Shout out to him. God bless him and his entire family, wherever he is. Super amazing human being. Do you guys know that up until date, they have really, really not increased the rent since I lived in that place seven years ago. It's amazing. When I went there some couple of weeks ago, I was like, what? They still pay this almost ridiculous amount in this place? They said, yes. The man lives abroad. U.S. Precisely. He said, no. They rarely increase. Now, my current landlord, when you're moving into the house, he will tell you, he increases rent every two, three years. If I have a friend who says that, when you're signing an agreement in their own landlord, it's five, five years. So, like now, this whole um, inflation thing, it has not made my landlord to change the rent. Please, don't come and watch the video that I can't decide to now change the rent. I'm not going to let you go see it. Now, those landlords who change rent every year, how does it even work? How would you, how can someone enter into your house one year down the line and then you're telling the person to pay? But yeah, this stabilizes it also. The income and all of that. So I get what Lagos people is trying to do. But what I'm saying and what I want us to discuss, what do you guys may think? With this work, comparing us to other clients, like I always say to you guys that invest in real estate. Now when you're saying, oh, when I buy property in Canada, is this, is this, is this, no, no, real estate company, I said, don't compare, oh, Lagos State real estate is peculiar. Same thing here. How will this work? What do you guys think? That's what I want us to, um, to discuss. Like they said, this policy, they want to implement, implement it late this year or early 2025. Now, the last one. You as a real estate investor, who has, you remember the example of the avocado? Maybe you have bought the avocado, you have bought uh, big clothes, your houses in big clothes, they call. In fact, you're waiting for the avocado yaba because you want to be earning rental income. You want to be, you know, as rent retirement, blah, 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 blah. What do you think? How does this affect you? How does this make you feel? Especially my people in that right? You see, I keep saying it. How does this make you feel? If the Lagos State policy will now make force you to choose or to charge rental income based on it, based on any. Well, I know there's another part to it. Me, I just said me personally. And it means that there's certain earnings to me on the IR because go late. Now that will now that will now I, I feel like if that happens. People are avoiding people that work in certain parastata or sector or industry. That will now bring them back to those days where they are now, you now find people working in certain industry, living in it. They are the only one that can afford to live in certain areas. That will, be wrong. That will now be what will, will be happening. So people who is already comfortable living in Naja, the person now forced to move to somewhere else. Maybe Ekwe. Eh? And when Ekwe now becomes the big boy, of like Koi, the person now moves to Jehode. I be tell you, baby. You know, you gradually I'm around you. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to go to Stylish people go back to that. Me, I cannot go back to Oku. The Kogi, I'm not ready to go back to Oku until our our Kogi state governor replace our 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 states. That's one is another topic for another day. So, thank you so much, guys. That's it. We can go on and on on this topic. What do you guys think? Share it. Let's get the comment section lit, guys. Let's set it on fire. I'm there. I'm there. I'm still there right now. Like, I'm going to devote my time. I'm here. I want to hear what you guys think. Honestly, I really want to hear what you think. Whether you're based in abroad or you're based in Nigeria. Let's discuss, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. Like I said, the extension of this conversation is in work, is in the conversation. And hey, let me just say this disclaimer I'm not against the Gospel Government, though. I'm just a concerned citizen uh, and as a realtor, I'm looking at how does this affect us. How will this affect the industry? Because we all know that investors are the ones that are directly um, proportional to this. Even though it's good to make life easier for in low income earners, how does it affect us as a whole, us stakeholders? So tell me what you feel. Once again, thank you so much for doing this with me. I am delighted to be your host today on the Tea Talks. I am delighted, ladies and gentlemen, to be your host on. Tea talk with goodness, Usman.
real estate talk show. So I'm going to see you guys in the comment section and of course in the next episode. We have another very hot seasoning topic to talk about in our next episode. That's why you don't want to miss out on the next episode. So go ahead right now. If you yet subscribe, subscribe, turn on your notification bell and I will see you in the next episode. But please ensure that you, yes you, you remain safe. And awesome, does the way you are. So I say to you, for double.